first things first, when we're in the kitchen, I turn on my stove light because I need some light so we can cook. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out some things. Okay, so I did already take out the ground beef. I got some collard greens. Getting all my ingredients out. First thing that I'm gonna do is start cooking with some bacon. I already have some chopped up onions and peppers. I do have some broccoli. What do we think we're making today? All right, so what I think we're gonna do today is I think that we are going to do three dishes. We're gonna do meatballs and gravy, nachos, and spaghetti. So we're gonna be prepping all three of these because I got a big thing of ground meat. The nachos was gonna be more so like a lunch snack, so I was gonna prepare the meat, and whenever I'm hungry or just want something quick to eat, we can have nachos, you know? I'm gonna put on some bacon so we can use it in our collard greens. Let me get some pots out for us. I'm just gonna use the pot that we're gonna put the collard greens in to put one or two pieces of bacon in that pot. The pot to do the rice, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just to get it out the way. It's easy, so why not? This is my favorite rice to use. I know I could do homemade rice, but got me in a choco since childhood. Okay, so I'm going to split my pack of meat into three different sections for my different meats. I need a container. So guys, with spaghetti and tacos, you know it's just browning the meat. So I am about to brown the meat for the spaghetti and tacos. We will separate it out in a little bit. Now, as far as the meatballs and gravy, we do have to add some seasoning and stuff to this right now. I was gonna also chop up some peppers a little bit more and we're going to have to put them into balls.
Next, I am going to use some seasoned salt on my meat. Salt and pepper. Pepper, garlic, salt. A bit of that. A little bit of minced onions. Do a little crusher of pepper, some pepper. What else? Paprika? That was not even good. Um, yeah, so garlic powder, garlic pepper. So we have all of that in our bowl. I'm also gonna add the peppers to it. And this is our meatballs and gravy. Um, also, just make my balls. Okay, that's our timer for this. Our second bag of rice is finished. Not got y'all falling up. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna turn that eye off. Um, our meatballs are nicely browning. As I said, they will get smaller. Looking good, meatballs. Looking good. I have some room, so I'm going to put some more in here. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. We have our other meatballs. Little meatball, little meatball, little meatball. These are my favorites, so that's why I'm making more of this than anything else. Hi, pumpkin baby. Hi, baby. Mommy's cooking books. Mommy's cooking. Dinner. Okay. Look, I'm trying to stuff them all in here. And I'm on the Yes, baby. Yes. What? What? You can't. No, this is not for you. This is mommy. Mommy. Uh, this meat. I separated this meat. Now with the tacos, oh, I hope I have a thing of, ooh, this is a mess in here, y'all. Um, the cabinets are so far deep back that um, I can't find things and then I have all the chips. Okay, where would the little thing, oh, here, duh, y'all, it's right, right here. So I'm gonna do the tacos. Do the taco and let's do this. So with this, we just need a little bit of water in there. Open our taco seasoning. Boom. The next thing I wanted to do really quick was chop up some cucumbers and tomatoes. So we have salad prepped in the fridge. So I have my cutting board out. And we got 
tomatoes, and cucumbers. our meatballs are done I did drain the meat juice off and our collard greens are still going this pot is free our rice is done I'm going to go ahead and put the broccoli in just another vegetable for our meals the taco meat is done I need to find a container for that and then we need to move on to the spaghetti but let me go ahead and make the gravy for our meat bars and gravy now I have to keep some cream of mushroom or cream of chicken in my kitchen I'm going to be making the gravy with this and I'm going to um, put this in here and then put half water in here and that's going to make our juices juice so this is what it looks like also in my kitchen I keep some browning and seasoning sauce and this is just for the color of our gravy I'm going to clear out some whey and we are going to put it in. This should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. We just want to warm it up. I filled the can up with half water. I'm going to turn the eye back on and once this warms up we'll be able to maneuver it a little bit more um, I have these two containers because I'm gonna I guess these are two snacks two taco meat snacks all right so we're using the smaller containers for our nacho snacks <laughs> I don't want to make a mess ah, I'm making a mess so this is our little nacho snack. I do have the ingredients for nachos, cheese, sour cream, you know, that's in the refrigerator. But these are prepped up. Oh, we're prepping. I'm going to clean this out and then we're going to move on to our spaghetti. And I guess these are going to make two containers of spaghetti as well. You guys, we are on a roll in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you just check on everything. Now guys, a little bit of this browning seasoning goes a long way. Um, I could have put some more, but I just wanted to let you guys know, don't put too much. So let's see. We want to do one little drop. Well, that was bigger than a little, but you're going to see how this changes the color. color is changing before our eyes. We now are having a gravy. The color is your choice. We do a little bit more. Okay. Not the hand is heavy. See? So if you like your gravy like more brown, Big serving food. Make sure the meatballs are all covered in the gravy. Hmm. Oh, we have meatballs and gravy. I did clean out this pan. I'm ready to make some spaghetti. We're gonna dump this meat. 
into there. And this isn't going to take too long. I already have this salsa. Probably not even going to need to use the whole thing because it's not that much. So our collard greens are finished now and I'm going to go ahead and put them in our meatball meal preps. I thought that I had enough vegetables. The collard greens are gone. That made three. Good thing I did decide to do some broccoli and the broccoli can go into these two containers. I do wanna put a little bit of butter on the broccoli, not gonna lie. Putting the broccoli in our containers that don't have a veggie. Oh no. Okay, we are meal prepping. All right, guys, we are almost finished with meal prepping. I have three containers left. This will be for our spaghetti. So three things of spaghetti. Yep, yep, yep. We got our salads. We have our nacho snacks. Just need the spaghetti and we're done. Literally over here, I'm just boiling some water. And then once the noodles are done, we'll just put it into our containers and be done. Oh, gotta wash the dishes. Um, the noodles are done. I hope I have enough. I think I do. So, this is our last noodles for the week that we're prepping. Guys, we're coming to an end of meal prepping. We're coming to the end of meal prepping. All right, guys, I did make a little bit more salsa for the spaghetti dishes. A little bit here, a little bit here. And we are finished. Woo, your girl needs some water after all that. All right, guys, we are all meal prepped up for the week. We have our meatballs and gravy, our spaghetti, our prepped cucumbers and tomatoes for salad, and we have our two um, containers of nachos. Ooh, yeah! Now to the dishes. Harlem, you gonna do the dishes? You gonna do the dishes? Mommy needs you to do the dishes. Can you, can you do the dishes? Hmm? You gonna help mommy? <laughs> so guys, the meal preps are tucked away. We have meals for the rest of the week. And I just have all my juices kind of at the top. I have some fruits, water, some juices, some leftovers in the back that I want to eat. However, what I'm eyeing down here is the snack the nachos i kind of want some of that right now so i think i'm gonna take one of these <laughs> i am getting nachos it's taco tuesday y'all i drank all the margaritas and i didn't even show y'all i had them i had two margaritas y'all think i'm joking the margaritas gone okay so yummy i had two 
Um, so yeah, now I'm about to have nachos. And I got the nacho chip. Let's see. Okay. In the fridge, cheese. We got some cheese, sour cream. We cut up some tomatoes earlier, so let's why not have some of that? What else do we have? We have jalapeno peppers. Dang, the salad sounds good too. Ooh. Okay, we have the some lettuce. What else do we need? Um, 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 so we getting distracted on what's really, what's really good. We getting distracted on what's really good and what's really popping. Period. We got taco meat. I put some cheese on it and warmed it up. Cheese. All right, guys, so the kitchen is all cleaned up and we are meal prep for the week. This is how I make sure that while I'm inside for the week working, because I work from home, that I have meals and I'm not spending money on Uber eating out. I do save and try to reserve me spending money on food for the weekends because I know my friends like to go out and have fun and I know we will be spending money during the weekend. So during the week, this is how I prep and try to save as much money because you know the girls like to go out for the weekend and have a little bit of fun. So during the week, your girl is a responsible adult, and this is how I do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys.